Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today we're gonna to talk about three ways that you can make your life better. And I hope that your life is already great, but I'm assuming since you clicked on this video, you wanna learn how to make it as best as it can be. You wanna learn how to make it a little bit better. So that's what we're gonna go over today. So specifically today, I'm gonna to cover three things you can do to improve your life and make it a more happy and fulfilling one. So you can't just watch the video, you actually have to do what I'm talking about, which is like a little homework assignment for you, but make sure you stick around until the very end so that you don't miss anything. Let's get started. Number one, we've got stop making excuses. This is one thing I see so many people do. This is something that I have definitely been guilty of doing. I think everyone has made an excuse at some point in their life, but when it comes to bettering yourself and doing things to work towards your goals and be the best that you can be, making excuses is only going to hold you back. So why do people make excuses? Well, most of the time it boils down to either fear, a lack of purpose in their life, or uncertainty. Making excuses might feel like the easier choice in the moment, but it's one of those things that only hinders your growth and progress long term. So I think it's really important to be mindful of that. Making excuses might sound like I'm too tired or I don't have time or ordering food out is easier than making it at home. The excuses are endless here, but you might be wondering how do I stop doing this? Number one is to take responsibility. You are in charge of your life and your actions and by taking that control back, you're going to gain a lot of freedom as well. If you choose to sit on the couch and watch Netflix every day after work instead of cooking yourself a healthy dinner or going to the gym, that only negatively affects you. You are responsible for your life and your choices, good and bad. Number two is your mindset. So whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. When you make an excuse, you aren't even giving yourself the opportunity to succeed. And by doing that, you're just automatically failing. It's better to try and to fail rather than to make an excuse and not try at all. So keep in mind, your mindset is powerful and shifting to I can rather than I can't or I have the opportunity to instead of I have to is going to make a really big difference. Number three is to set goals because if you don't have realistic or measurable goals for yourself, it's very hard to track your progress and very easy to make excuses because you can't see what you need to be doing to reach your goals and maybe that's because you don't even have any. When you can't directly see how the excuse that you're making is holding you back, it's a lot easier to make them. So by setting goals for yourself, writing them down, knowing what actions you need to take to get there is crucial. My last little tip here for making excuses is to take action. Instead of sitting there and coming up with an excuse or procrastinating and putting it off until tomorrow, oh, I'll go next week, oh, I'll do it later, do it now. Take the action that is necessary for you to get to where you want to go. You will feel happier, you will feel more fulfilled and all around better about yourself. So the key here for making excuses is to start taking action instead of making those stupid excuses. So before I get into my second thing here that will make your life better, I'm really excited that today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. So I mention a lot on my channel how important the relationship that you have with yourself is. And I know from personal experience that when I put in the work with myself, I show up as a better Courtney for everyone around me, including all of you. So because this is so important to me, I decided to do some major intentional reflection and took a class on Skillshare called Designing the Life You Want for Exercises for Clarity and Motivation by Michelle B. So this class really allowed me to get into a headspace where I feel inspired and creative, which is obviously necessary for the work that I do for myself and for all of you. So if you're not familiar with the platform, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills skills. If you have a specific skill you're trying to learn, Skillshare is the perfect place to start from self-care and productivity to freelancing, graphic design, and more. You can find classes that will match your goals and interests. So if you're interested in checking out Skillshare and learning something new, the first 1,000 people to use the link on my description box or my code Courtney Ryan will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. The second thing here that will make your life better is to get uncomfortable. The truth is that growth happens outside of your comfort zone, whether you like it or not. I know sometimes that's tough to hear. As an introvert, I totally get it, but it's the truth. If you do what you've always done, you're not gonna get where you wanna go. So many of us get trapped in comfort and complacency because it often feels safe. Getting out of your comfort zone is a scary thing, which is one reason why so many people don't do it. You might be scared of failure or rejection or the unfamiliar and unknown. It's a very normal thing to feel a level of discomfort when you're trying something new or doing something that you've never done before. So don't feel like you're the oddball out feeling this way. A lot of people feel like that. So of course, putting yourself out of your comfort zone feels a little bit intimidating at first, but by doing it and practicing, you're gonna gain familiarity and you're going to change and adapt as you grow. 
Change is scary, putting yourself out there is scary, but you know what's even scarier is staying stuck in the same place for your entire life because you were afraid to get out of your comfort zone. My little homework assignment for you for this specific point is to do something out of your comfort zone. First, sit down and think about what makes you feel uncomfortable. You can write it down, you can make a little list. Recognize the things that make you feel uncomfortable that are maybe outside of your comfort zone or your daily routine that maybe you would like to do but you've just been too scared to do it. I want you to start doing things that make you uncomfortable. You're going to grow, you're going to evolve, you're going to change, and you're going to become the best you that you can be because you're putting yourself out there to reach your full potential. Start building your confidence and trust in yourself by trying new things and getting out of that comfort zone. This could be learning a new skill, it could be talking to a girl, it could be trying a new workout class. The options are endless here and this is going to look different for all of you, but my homework assignment that I want all of you to do is to just try something new. And my third thing here that will change your life is staying consistent. Whatever your goals are that you might be chasing, there's one thing that will either make it or break it, and that is consistency. A lot of people don't see immediate results and get really discouraged and quit. Instant gratification has become a huge issue that I see so commonly. I've definitely experienced this before as well. I would challenge you to continue to push through and stay consistent. I'll give you a personal example here. So when I first started posting on YouTube, I had to stay consistent with it. I was working a traditional corporate job. I would come home every day, I would work out, and then I would spend the entire entire night filming, scripting, or editing, and working on my YouTube channel. So they were very long days, and I didn't see instant results in the beginning. I didn't just wake up with 100,000 followers. You know, you have to put in the work to get there. But one thing I always tell people when they ask me, how did you become successful on YouTube? How did you grow your platform? The answer is consistency. For the past two years of my life, pretty much, I have posted at least three times a week on YouTube. I have never missed a week. I've never missed a day. And I think it's really important to understand that the consistency and work that you put in is going to get you to your long-term goals. Whether you're learning a new language, getting in shape, or posting videos on YouTube like me, you have to stay consistent to get the results that you want. You really want to develop consistent habits that are working towards your goals and what you want and make sure that you're on the right path and taking action to get there. These small consistent steps will lead you towards your goals and keep in mind here that small changes are what make a really big difference. Your success is hidden in your daily routine so if you don't have consistent habits or discipline for yourself, it's going to be a lot harder for you. So being consistent even when you aren't seeing immediate results, really focusing on your long-term goals instead of what feels good right now or what you want right now is the key here. So to wrap up here, the three things that will make your life better is to stop making excuses, get uncomfortable, and stay consistent. If you start implementing these things into your life, I guarantee that you will see positive results. And again, keep in mind, your results might not be immediate, but if you keep going, you stay consistent, you push through, you try new things, and you really try to become the best version of yourself, you're going to feel a lot more happy and fulfilled with yourself and your life. So I'm rooting for all of you. Let me know in the comments down below some tips you have for other guys, what are some things you've done to make your life better? Would love to hear down in the comments. And don't forget, if you're interested in checking out Skillshare, the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description or my code Courtney Ryan will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So if you're interested, be sure to go check it out. If you like this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Watching. I will see you all next time.